We knew it was something special. Obviously, didn't know how special it was until we really started seeing people just gravitate towards it. We're a Texas travel show. It's just destined for us to come here and taste the food, see what it's all about, and see the, the faces behind all the signs, the puns, and everything. What is the story and the origins of El Arroyo? El Arroyo has been around since 1975. So since 75, we've been serving up Tex-Mex. And in 1987 is when the actual marquee sign was put in front of the restaurant. This place is special to the city. The sign is iconic, and it means a lot to the people driving through downtown. And it's a Texas brand. It's a Tex-Mex restaurant is how it started, and how the sign has reached so many people that people from everywhere are wanting to buy the product. can't be here and not talk about what's right in front of us. So you got you got to start off with the appetizers, the chips and salsas, what was on the table when we first got here. What I tell people, it is drinkable um, <laughs> because it is so good. So good. Um, and it has a little kick to it, too. It does so have a little yes. kick to it. I mean, from first bite, those chips, too, are just, they're warm, and you can tell that they're homemade, handmade. Walk is great, but especially if you live in Texas. You gotta do queso. That queso is very important. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so as far as like some of the merch and that you can purchase here, like what all do you offer? Because I see coasters, I see hats and everything. So what can I get our hands on that we can take home? The whole gift line is so amazing because my husband and I, all we wanted to do was create a coffee table book with the signs in it. Our followers on social media just kept going up and we were like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah. And then people would start commenting on, well, do you have it on a magnet or a greeting card? Like the whole gift line essentially was created from all of our followers. Yeah, food. Yes, yes. You know how people say you like judge a Mexican restaurant by uh, a certain meal? Like what is yeah. one dish or one side that you judge? Enchiladas are my thing yeah. and these are thick, I can already tell. One of my favorites is the ditch bowl and it's, it's a rice and beans and then you put your shredded beef or shredded chicken. All the things that you want to describe as an, a Tex-Mex flavor is right there in the meat. It's just hitting the spot. Y'all know how to do Mexican food. Y'all know how to do Tex-Mex, really. There's a reason why El Royal's been standing strong for so long. The food is fantastic. The sign is iconic. That's something that we're working on is, is really reaching, and the purpose is it's honestly so rewarding to be a part of. I can't thank you enough for showing us what makes y'all unique, what makes y'all Texan. <laughs> Love it. Cheers, Cheers to the meal.